Hey guys, it's John Gress. I'm gonna show you three lighting setups today using V-flat. So let's get on set with our model David and get things started. For this first setup, we're gonna create a dramatic moody portrait by placing a small deep umbrella about six to eight feet from the model. Then we're gonna take a V-flat from V-flat world and place the black side right next to the model. Then we're gonna turn the other side out so we can use it as a flag to block the light from the umbrella from striking the background because if the background is too bright, it's gonna kill the mood. Then we're gonna take another V-flat and place it just in front of the model off to his right using one white side only. That way we can bounce a little bit of light back into the shadows and brighten up the background a little bit. Then I'm gonna grab a black flag and place it between the light and his torso because right now his jacket is just way too bright. Now that we've got everything dialed in, let's get started. One of the things I love about this setup is that it doesn't require multiple lights. You just need one light, a fairly inexpensive common modifier, two V-flats and a flag, and that's it. So for the second setup, I really wanted to highlight David's cheekbones. So the first thing I did was take a small white deep umbrella and boom it right in front of him and point it down at a fairly steep angle. And then I adjusted the height to make sure that he had the perfect catch light. Then I placed a V-flat white side out over each shoulder so that I could edge out the sides of his neck and really highlight his jawline. Finally, I placed a small black foam board on each side of his head so that I could block the reflected light that was coming from the V-flat into the shadow areas of his face. That way I could increase the contrast but still keep that reflected light that was edging out his jawline. And now let's see if David can model his way out of a cardboard box. I could have done this setup with three lights, but the great thing about the V-flats is I only needed one. So for our third look, I wanna create an isolated portrait where the viewer's eyes are led to his face. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this Ellen Chrome light motif 120 centimeter softbox and place it off to the model's right. Then I'm gonna take a V-flat with the black side out and use it as a flag to keep the light from that softbox from lighting up the ladder, his legs, and the back half of the set. Next, I placed a V-flat with the white side out over his left shoulder so that I could create a beautiful edge light to separate him from the background. In order to position it properly, I watched to see how much light I was reflecting from the modeling light, and when it was at its brightest, I knew I was in the right place. Now that we've got everything set up, let's get started. I really like working with David because he knows how to move, and when you're on set with a model who knows exactly what they're doing, things are so easy and they really flow. I could have opened up the V-flat on his left side, but it really would have killed the contrast and created general fill and also brightened up the background way too much. So just by keeping it back there over his shoulder, I was really able to achieve that separation that I was looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you'd like more information about the V-flats, please head on over to vflatworld.com or check them out on Instagram. Thanks and have a great day.